So this video shows how to debug uh, a backend service from uh, which is running in Nest.js or Node.js, uh, since which, which we installed in the previous video. So uh, in the current uh, video, this this one is running. We installed that stuff. Uh, you see the hello world, and the hello world comes from there. Uh, it starts the application starts in always starts in main TS. It listens on the port 3000 and we're going to the controller and the controller does give something back here from, from a service. Uh, how to debug that stuff? Uh, that's always the most, uh, for, for developer, this is the most important stuff. So therefore we stop the service which is running in here, uh, which was started with nest start, which is the, uh, we say, control C, so it's uh, stopping and in visual code we always have this one the run debug uh, start debugging f5 is always that stuff uh, normally you start with uh, nest.js for, for this one and then in this point you are in the uh, default way how it's running so coming from the browser we will start uh, debugging but Debugging as soon as we say uh, F5 debugging, you see there's a selection node going to Node.js or to a Visual Code extension uh, or anything else, uh, or install the extension for TypeScript. So, but we want to do it. Um, we we need the launch uh, the launch file. So uh, in this case, when we go here to uh, the uh, Chrome, you will see it opens here the .vs code and then there is the launch uh, JSON and it installs here, uh, it, it sets up a, a setting for starting this one the, with the Chrome, but Chrome is not the best um, selection for my, in my case, so what I would always say is uh, I'm taking a default setup let's say this one for which is uh, the setup for for let's say this one so and i cutting in this out uh, control hashtag so that's uh, unselected now take this one so you need you need this launch file good uh, let's so that's my setting for this one so type uh, type of launch is node uh, the request is launch so it launch uh, goes over the launch JSON and st starts to run uh, debug nest that that's a label how it was how it's starting then there are lo a lot of runtime uh, settings and uh, it will start that it in um, that all that stuff. okay had to keep it cool uh, so we you are able to set here a breakpoint to ab to your application as soon as the application or the web request comes in and you're also able to set say here uh, there's a breakpoint and then you go here to run debug, debug with F5. So as soon as you start that stuff, you see those uh, breakpoints changing a little bit. And then as soon as you are in your application again, and when you start now, your uh, when you refresh the re web request, then the application should jump into that application uh, I have the problem because it's running on the second uh, second block uh, it's running two times so in this case I had to start uh, the service again or the the, the, the code again so uh, you do it either here in your uh, in that block you say okay here start debug or uh, start debugging on well show the commands and there you see the debug debug and so I had to start it again uh, it's yeah, start rebug uh, debug uh, so start the debugging again but 
but the easier way is you go to your terminal again here in terminal and there you say uh, you want to nest run start or so uh, or nest start is the best command let's say nest nest start and then you see the uh, it attaches the debugger it attaches the debugger and uh, from there now when you see it since it's running in the background now as soon as you um, here it already went to those breakpoints and as soon as you call a re get a re web request then it comes to that breakpoint and then you are able to uh, to do the uh, debugging